Okay, how do you follow YouTubers? Begin with me, Ezra. And this is my new MOC, Ultimate Finger. Ultimate Finger is made by combining the Chima Ultraviolet, Chiser Finger, and Chimanga. So, this guy, Chiser Finger, that I mentioned it on Chiser Finger, that I mentioned it on my Vlogs, Vlogs some time ago. Oh, and by the way, I got this guy on 50%, so yeah, that's cool too. And 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 also with this guy, the Chimangus, the elephant guy here. So as you can see, Chimangus uh, is normal price in this case, but yeah, <laughs> that's just at the point. I guess I don't have to stay say about that, but let's get to it. But yeah, for those of you who likes ultra build, I think you already. I think you are, you should already know that those two are actually has their own official combiner, but the official combiner is kind of lacking, I think. So, yeah, I decided to make this guy to make my own version of combiner. And yeah, as you can see, this is the result. And I think he's pretty cool. Uh, there's not a pun there. I know this guy's eyes, but yeah. As you can see, the, the base is a surf anger, So this is more like an upgraded surf anger. And uh, just to make it easier, just let me... Adjust my camera here. So yeah, as you can see, this guy is pretty big. <laughs> those those spoon ice pieces that were on the surf and shoulder now become some kind of armor part here. And yeah, I <laughs> like this guy is really. As you can see, he's very bulky here. Yeah, and very big too. And there's he also has this shoulder armor from ice. Think it from Mungus Mungus Mace hammer i think and on the back you can see that he has a, a cape his cape here he's still kept here because that's part of surf finger uh, if, if you open it i think you can probably already already see how it should build but yeah this cape really helps make the back looks better so i decided that cape, cape is necessary and yeah he is what he is yeah let me just show you he is big and also the armor the tie armor here you can see that the printed part is not become the tie armor here so yeah they're surprisingly symmetrical so yeah and uh, and the leg now become with some kind of four and i also put the transparent here to give still gives the som ice zombie feeling on the back you can see it's also using heel it has a heel that will exactly the same as like like the official combiner if you don't know the, the instruction you should know and the body the body build is practically the combination of of the combiner of where the mongoose is the base and the finger is the base so yeah it's the combination of both so basically if let me just open this you can see this is a uh, two two bodies stacked together uh, yeah this is as you can see here the body on the on the front the body and the back so there's the two body all used up and on the end of back you can see that ah there you are this is the all the bone and the bone there there yeah yeah so yeah you can see it's, it's come is this is kind of using some kind of a stormer xl build to make him bright to make his shoulder more broader and yeah Articulation, this, is, this is guy is uh, ultra built, so articulation, you should be expecting that a lot of articulation there. Oh, and and uh, and this this become some kind of rib, rib, rib cage here, so it's pretty cool too. And the arms asym is not symmetrical. The other arm is is a normal arm where it has a four two on the on the armor here, and the other arm is fingers claw. And on the back here, the neck also has four to to help keep to help covering the part there. But yeah, and also added all, all the friction on the leg. So there's a friction here, the friction joint, friction joint, and friction joint. So he can stand just fine. But that's not the point. If you know Surfanger, if you know the set, Surfanger should have some kind of weapon or some kind of stuff staff but yeah he has that too i mean i put it here i also updated his stuff here as you can see and his handle is right here so as you can see the red this will attach to his normal hand there and the 
and the mongoose head surprisingly working well to become a to become a decoration here so let me just put it on his arm there let me just put it here if i i should be able wait there yeah yeah he can hold it like that yeah as you can see this the stuff and yes there you are as you can see he's holding his stuff and let me just bring it that that really looks cool as you can see yeah and on the here 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 is still the shooter is still there you can push this and shoot the missile this i know and replace it with the same on the chest there but i'm not gonna shoot it i don't want to risk losing it there's one problem though this should be usually this oh it's actually strong usually this won't go that far this is usually weak connection so i'm surprised that usually when you he can he can he can hold his stuff up there because the weight of this stuff is very heavy yeah but yeah i'm just gonna toss this stuff this cool stuff let me just give you one one last look because i'm gonna touch it the side to make it easier for me to do the review yeah there yeah let me just test put it to the side there so yeah and uh since this guy is an ultra built you can expect a lot of articulation on this guy so i shouldn't bring my camera down to do i so yeah let me just so first the neck is on a pole join here and here so you can put it here and and here so yeah there's also a lot of pole chain movement there and if you know sir finger his jaw is also move so you can open the jaw there to make a screaming action there so yeah there's that too and also the, there's there's pole join the shoulder and pole join here so this is a pole join you can move, move it however you want and also pole join here so on the elbow on the elbow and also on the wrist there's a pull joint there's the same on the other side and here despite all this the finger the claw is also all articulated so you can move them individually also there's a friction joint there you can move the leg that far and the back not much because there's a pull joint here that covering it but yeah there's a pull joint here too and the pull joint on the on the knee too and also on the on the feet here there's a pole join so yeah i think you can put him on a lot of posts and let me just stand him here now this guy is pretty big as i mentioned on the start so i'm gonna give you some rough comparison of the size first off the universal comparison minifig random city minifig let me just put it there so you can see how big this guy is yeah that guy is no match and also if you're a transformer fan let me bring you a Voyager megatron he is bigger practically the size of a liter i guess yeah and also since you guys probably here for this an excel mac if you guys familiar with my excel mac there's a size comparison this guy is big very big <laughs> but yeah there's that i guess and regarding the nixel i don't have the instruction for the nixel nixel asset mac ready yet it's not done yet because well i yeah many stuff happen i'm probably gonna make a more feel like to to touch on that later but not sure i'm gonna do that or not but yeah i think you, the main thing is just you guys i think need to to pay more patience because it's gonna take longer probably but yeah for this guy that's it that is it i guess i already put to some some close-up shot earlier so i don't think you i need to give you more of 360 and the time is running out here so yeah for this guy that's all i want to say 
Thank you for watching. See you next time on the next video.